What's up, YouTube? Your boy back once again with another sport topic. And today I'm going to break down and recap today's victory over the Tennessee Titans. The Houston Texans scored 57 points, most points in franchise history. 57 to 14 is the final. And let's break it down. Let's talk about We already know what you want to hear about. That boy Deshaun Watson, the most, well, he tied the record for the most touchdowns by a rookie quarterback in the game. He had five total touchdowns, four in the air, and one on the ground. But let's break it down. Let's talk about the stats. Today the boy was 20, uh, 25 or 34. With 283 yards passing, four touchdowns, one pick. Lamar Miller rushed the ball 19 times, 75 yards in the touchdown. Hopkins, 10 catches, 107 yards in the touchdown. Will Fuller, first game back, two touchdowns. Four, four catches, 35, uh, 35 yards, two touchdowns. Even Lamar Miller did work on the ground, with, uh, I mean in the air, with four catches for 56 yards in the touchdown. Like Deshaun Watson just makes the whole offense look better. It's just, let's just talk about it, just, just straight up. And so he's on the field, like he makes the whole offense look better. You feel like you can score on every drive, and actually we did. We scored on our first five drives. We scored four touchdowns in the field goal. The only time we didn't score was the last drive of the half. The last drive of the half when he threw a pick. When we could have got a field goal in that situation, he threw a pick. Um, he actually still threw a pick the play before because he threw in the double coverage to Griffin. And then I didn't like neither one of those uh, decisions. I didn't really like neither one of those play calls. Because I think that they should, if you're going to try to get a score, which you should, try to get a touchdown, try to end the game then. Because at that time it was 30 to 20, uh, uh, it was 30 to 14. What you should do is show a straight fade inside the end zone where either your receiver's catching the back of the end zone or it's going into the stands. That way you can still keep that field going in your pocket. Like, um, with, with no time left in, in, in the uh, first, first half. That's what you should do. I didn't like how they were trying to score underneath. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that play selection. But um, but for the most part, I want to I want to stop people from uh um saying this about the play call. You cannot say nothing about the play call anymore because it's it must be clear that evidently the reason why Bill O'Brien was calling the plays that he's been calling for the past four years was because he had Fitzpatrick, Mallet, Hoyer, Savage, seventeen as his quarterback because. The past two games with with Watson, take that Bengals game out of it because it was short notice, short a short man. It was a, a three game, three days before the game. Like it was, it was a lot of stuff going on in the game. But the past two games, the New England game and this Tennessee Titans game, you seen this offense be completely different, different dynamics in this whole entire offense. And let's talk about the return of Will Fuller. I said in my in my preview video, if I was them, I would go deeper with for the first play of the game. It didn't happen like that because, you know, we weren't in that type of situation because we started off the game with a pick on the first drive uh, for the Titans. But they went to Will Fuller deep twice. Once was an, over, was an overthrow by Watson. I think that's more of a miscommunication because Watson wasn't the starter during, tra during training camp. Also, Will Fuller missed time. And I said that would probably hurt the Texans more about Will Fuller not being there. Not his absence, but more so him not be able to develop more because he was going to be out and he may have the time and all that type of stuff. Uh, he may have the time and down. And them also might hurt his consistency with the hands because he's not able to work because he was hurt. But as you've seen, like, like, like that time, and then the second time, they had to throw a pass in France as he would have scored a touchdown because he, like, I think he would have caught that ball. He was in the end zone. It would have been a touchdown. Both times they went deep on him. That's why I'm saying that's why he's a big part of this offense because he's going to open up things. You see how open and spread up everything was? Because of the threat with Will Fuller down deep, you can't have a safety in the box. And you know Deshaun Watson's a running quarterback, so you do need to have a safety in the box. So it kind of freed up the offense. That's the reason why Lamar Miller was able to run the way he wanted, like, they were able to run the way he was able to run because of Deshaun Watson's threat and also the return of Will Fuller. Hopkins was single covered all game. That's why he had 100 yards in the A's game. He was single covered. Well, Bryce McCain. Bryce McCain used to be a Houston Texan. Bryce McCain was covering Hopkins one-on-one. -on -one. What was they thinking? But they had to because they had to have safety, top, safety help over the top because you cannot allow Will Fuller to score on you. You, you would rather Hopkins you rather Hopkins get you all day on five-yard outs and uh, catching sideline catches then let Will Fuller burn you for 80 yards for a touchdown. Because that, that's, that's, it's a place of yardage and it gets into the end zone or at the very least gets you to the goal line. You could try to find a way to stop Hopkins. <laughs> you could try to find a way to stop Hopkins. You, you'd rather Hopkins catch those balls than Will Fuller burn you if you're a defensive coordinator. That's just how it works. Just like in basketball, you'd rather let somebody beat you in the post than let somebody that's a, that's a cold three-point shooter out there and kill you for three. It's just, how, it's just really how it go. But anyway... Deshaun Watson, like I say, his him him being his presence on the field just 
defense just completely opens up the offense. Like, we just look like a completely different team after. Like, he completely just opened up the whole entire offense. And I just think that that was just um, – that's just what you do Like when you have a quarterback. Like, we finally have a quarterback. Like, I, don't, don't get it wrong. I know we had top five offense back when Schaub and uh, Andre and Foster. But that was more because you had – uh, a number one, number two receiver in the NFL, and, and, and Andre, in my opinion, the whole time he was there, he was the best receiver in the league. But, you know, people, Calvin Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald, people still argue th those points. And then Foster was a top five running back. So you had those type of key players on your offense that made your offense be that type of scoring offense. Hopkins is not that type of receiver. He's not Andre Johnson. Lamar Miller is, is not Arian Foster. We don't have that type of offense. We don't have that type of off that type of uh, manpower offense. We have good enough, but not that type of manpower. But with Watson, with a good quarterback, you can mask a lot of stuff. Look at what the Colts were doing with Peyton Manning and what the Colts was doing with Andrew Luck. What Tom Brady does every year with the, with the receivers he have. Same thing with Aaron Rodgers. When you have good quarterback play, Drew Brees the same thing. When you have good quarterback, good quarterback play, it masks a lot of things. Our offensive line still is not all that good, but it hasn't looked as bad as it's looked against the, the, the week one. It's look every week it's got it looks better because of the type of quarterback you have. One they were rush they were only rushing that was another reason why they were only rushing three. They weren't even rushing four against us. They were only rushing three. The reason why? Because you have to account for Deshaun Watson. Because if you blitz and send and send the house at, at Deshaun Watson and you miss and you miss time it, Deshaun Watson can burn you as he as he did um the uh the Bengals, burn you for a fifty yard touchdown. You don't want to take that risk. Not to mention Will Fuller out there burn you for an 80-yard touchdown. You don't want to take those type of risks. So that's what type, of, what type of quarterback that you have, the dynamic quarterback that you have with Deshaun Watson. That's why that helps. That's why that is very key. But let's talk about defense. I've been talking about Deshaun Watson. I ain't talking about the defense. Five turnovers. <laughs> our defense like our defense first forced five turnovers. Three interceptions. Four, uh, four interceptions. And one ran back for a touchdown. And then uh, Clowney got sacked from but at the end of the game. Five touchdowns. Andre had two picks. Uh, Gil Chris a pick. Uh, Cole with a pick six. And then, like I said, Clowney with the uh, with the forced fumble, the sack strip fumble. So I think that gives him four sacks. No, three sacks on the season. So the defense came out to play mostly because Mariota did not play after the second half. He had a hamstring injury, so Mariota did not play after the second half. But... For the most part, in the first half, they like the first like first drive of the game, they got to pick out that game, and actually they picked off Mario twice. How picked off Mario twice? So our defense looked way better against the Titans than they did in any, any game. This is probably the best our defense looked. Half of that is because Matt Castle was playing the second half of the football. I get that, but for the for the most part, our defense played well. And don't let this game fool you. Like really, don't let this game fool you when it comes to the Titans. The Titans are still going to be a formidable foe when it comes down to the AFC South right now, because Jacksonville just lost in overtime to the Jets. So all three of us are tied two-two, um, and all of us are one-one division. And all division wins were blowouts. Jags blew the Texans out. The Titans blew out the Jags, and then we blow out the Titans. So we're all on an even playing field when it comes to the AFC South. And my true opinion, I really do believe it's mostly between the Texans and the Titans. I don't want to discredit Jacksonville because I think they have a damn good defense. But watching the rest of that game uh, against the Jets after the Texans game went off, I they can't go anywhere with Blake Bortles. I'm sorry. They 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 are in the situation that we've been in. They can't go anywhere with Blake Bortles because they really should have beat the Jets in overtime. They can't go anywhere with Blake Bortles. They actually shouldn't even beat them in overtime. They, they actually should have won in regulation. But they can't go anywhere with Blake Bortles. I'm, I don't know how much I can stress that enough. They can't go anywhere with Blake Bortles. And um, I don't even think I, – I don't know if he's worse than 17. And I think their defense, especially their secondary, is playing better than our secondary has ever played. But I just don't see them going anywhere. And, and they have enough to keep them in games. They, they have receivers. They have a defense. They have what looks like a nice running back and four net. But I really just can't see them going anywhere – with Blake Bortles under the uh, under their center, like I'm just, I just can't see that. I just can't see him doing anything. The Texans, because of our defense, I think our defense is going to come back alive. I think with Watson showing what he's showing, I think he's the real deal. He's legit, and 
I think Mariota is a, I think Mariota is a, is a damn good quarterback himself, and they have a running game which we had, which we were able to shut down mostly because we started off and we scored on our first five possessions of the game, so it put them in the hole and took the running game out of the game. It wasn't a close game, so they couldn't run the ball like they wanted to. But I still think it's between the Texans and the Titans mostly. I don't want to completely discre discredit and count out Jags because of their defense, but because of their quarterback situation, I really don't think they're going to have too much to say. Same thing with the Colts. Colts is a bad team all around, and they don't even have luck. And I think with luck, I don't think they'll be able to do much anyway. So I think it's still the Texans and the Titans for this division. But like I said, though, and, and, and like I said in the last video, Deshaun Watson, we trust. Like I think, like as you see him go out there and score, and then and then got the uh, did the Andre leap in the end zone. Like he completely changed the the outlook of the team, the outlook of the city. Like you could, like I said, you could tell this is team. Like everybody is focusing on him. Everybody's looking up to him. And he's only his what third start? Yeah, it was his third start. First start at home, and everybody you could tell he's already got the keys to the franchise, the keys to the car. It's his team. You can already tell that it's his team, and uh, like. I think he most likely will probably be rookie of the year now. I think he's going to be he's going he's heading into that trajectory. He's going to be rookie of the year mostly because he's a quarterback. I know with uh, Kareem Hunt's doing out there in Kansas City, but you know they look more towards QBs anyway. So, and um, hopefully he can get, be rookie of the year. And then cause I think he'll be our first offensive rookie of the year in franchise history. We've had two defenses with uh, with Cushion and uh, um, uh, D'Amico Ryan's, but I think he'll be our first offensive rookie of the year. And then also uh, get us into another AFC South title, and let's see what we do. Uh, I, I said we we finally got us one, people. Like ladies and gentlemen, we finally got us one in Houston. Like, share, subscribe, comment below if you haven't clicked that bell to get more videos. I holla.